Hey guys, JT Gaming here with another Escape from Tarkov video. First off, I'd like to thank all of you for over 1,000 views, and as a thank you, I'm giving away a free thermal reply R sites on stream tonight, so make sure you head over to my channel at 7pm. Also, I will be giving away a weapons case to my 10th sub. Just need one more person, so if you or your friends need some extra stash space, you know what to do. Anyway, let's just get right into it. So, we had a lot of 12.12 .12 and future information drop last night over at Pestley's podcast with Escape from Tarkov developer Nikita. He's also joined by YouTuber Nice Guys Tarkov and Twitch streamer Azers TV. Uh, all social links are down below in the description. Be sure to check them out. Now, first off, those who are interested in one thing, there is no date for 12.12, .12, but there will be a wipe when it comes out. I'd put the release date probably around Christmas, New Year's time. Now we got that out of the way, let's get on with what is going to be in 12.12. .12. First off, the new map, Lighthouse. There will be a couple of iterations. First one will be just a map with no entry to the Lighthouse itself, no bosses, no in-raid traders, and just a normal extraction point. Second iteration, there will be four bosses. Yes, four bosses. The lighthouse will be open. However, there will be an in-raid trader that you will have to use a key to access, like a lab's card or something to trade him for. He will be protected by a sniper, perhaps one of the bosses. Extract will have an armoured train, similar to reserve, but with guns that you have to use to defend the extract. Not much was said on this, but it's on hold for now. We've got new weapons, it's the Scar H, the double barrel shotgun, the revolver shotgun, and more are coming with 12.12. .12. We've also got more weapon mods, such as the UMP silencer, which those who tuned into the live stream got a sneak peek at. We're also getting a second iteration of weapon malfunctions, not just more often, just a slew of new animations for all of the guns. Voip is coming and it's on the test server with Unity 2019 and Inertia. These will be dropping with 12.12 .12 and with the new engine will come new AI behavior, new physics, which is what the Inertia system is. And DLSS for the NVIDIA RTX 20 and 30 series cards to boost FPS and performance is coming as well as more quality of life changes. Now, that's all the info Nikita provided on 12.12, .12, but we heard a lot of what's planned in 2020 and the near future. So I'm just going to run through them as there's a lot to get through. Possible streamer item tourney. Top 5 will win and it's open to every streamer, not just the big ones. New NPC factions are coming. They will appear on shoreline first, where the mines are on the beach where terminal is. However, we won't be able to go into terminal. Quests we are doing at the moment are actually side quests. The main quest line is coming for release. The flea market will never be removed. It may just be limited in some way to prolong early and mid game. Lifelike armor hitboxes. So if you're wearing armor that doesn't cover you all the way around like the trooper or a slick doesn't, then you will get shot through those gaps. An in-game party system is in the works, but not much else is said on this. And last but not least, Nikita has said there will never be any microtransactions in this game. Right, that's everything. Thank you guys for sticking around, and if you learnt something new, be sure to give the video a like, and comment your thoughts and ideas for 12.12 .12 down below, and I'll pin the best one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.